Hello, Kevin Vang, I think that's how you pronounce his name, asks, how do I export Logic Pro X back to MuseScore or Finale, Notepad, etc., etc.? So how do we get our music from here, from Logic Pro X, into Notation software? I've done a couple videos doing it the other way around, but going back, it's doable. Uh, but it comes with a couple of quirks compromises and it's not going to be perfect and you are going to have to edit it on the other side especially if you've kind of divided your score by shorts and longs and you've got different patches for the same instrument really you need everything kind of lined up like this score is here where you see flute oboe clarinet bassoon etc etc i know the strings are a little bit more complicated down there where i've got some with legatos and other bits and bobs but generally you really want it as if this is the real deal being performed otherwise you're going to have extra scores and or extra staves and different bits and bobs that you don't really want and so really cleaning up your score and logic first i think is extremely important that preparation before we move it from here into a mu score or Sibelius or whatever you are using. And we're gonna be using a thing called Music XML instead of MIDI. Now what's the difference between MIDI and Music XML in one sentence? MIDI simply describes the notation while Music XML captures the actual notation and layout of your score. And you're able to almost replicate that in whatever piece of software you're going from and to. And so first, as I said, clean up your score next, you need to go into this little bit here, uh, which is your piano roll or whatever. It's this button up here. Just press E on your keyboard and you're gonna go over to score. Now you're probably thinking what on earth is going on here at the moment. It's just coming up with one thing with input one. What on earth is going on? Well, you really wanna try and get this score like this to capture the entire thing. Uh, and honestly, I think the easiest way of doing it, I've tried highlighting, I've tried doing different bits and bobs, and for some reason, it's simply just selecting a group seems to work for me. I don't know why, but I don't know why it is when you highlight everything, it, it becomes weird. Uh, but for me, I'm simply just selecting one of my stacks. And you can see that I actually do have the entire score here with probably some little bits and bobs I should actually delete. But this is for demonstration purposes. As I said, you probably want to clean this up a little bit better. And a good way of doing this as well is press view and it will, instead of hide instruments, it will say show instruments. So you actually know you have every instrument here. Another important thing up here, you really want to actually see your key as well. So customize control panel, you can see key signature, um, project N. So you want to see up here that your actual key you're working in is correct because that will translate with the score as well. And any tempo changes and bits and bobs, everything that's gonna come through like this tempo bit here, it's probably gonna do it a little bit weird and staggered and not put uh, a writ in, um, but still, Important to note, as I said, I'm gonna repeat it again, clean up your score, what next? So make sure you have your entire score here. Whatever is in this score section right here is what's gonna be translated into music XML file. So if you simply just have that, that is what's gonna be exported. You really do want, as I said, I've just selected the group. You want the entire score here because this is what is going to be opened up in your notation software or whatever it is how the notation is there is how it's going to go through and remember it's really just the actual notation and layout so this is what we'll see on the other end now we're going to go up here to logic uh, pro that little top bar go to file export and you're going to see score as music xml now you can see right now it's not highlighted and if i click on it it's going to do absolutely nothing why this can be a frustrating point because I've not actually selected the score. Right now you can see this little blue box right up here. It's highlighted in my main window. I need to select down here. Now you see that blue box has changed. We've now selected the bit down here. We're gonna go back up to file, export. Now it's an option. Score as music XML, click that. And it's doing something funky as you can see there, but then you're gonna save it to wherever you want. This is just blank orchestra XML.
So you can see I've already saved a copy there. It's the exact same thing. We can go ahead and click. I'll just put two for these purposes. There we are. And now once that's saved your file, there it is over there. We're now gonna open that up in whatever notation software you're using and you're gonna right click. I'm gonna click on this, right click, open with and then pick your software. I'm gonna do mu score four for the sake of this video. A few moments later, after it loads, it may take its time. You can see here that it has actually opened and it's got everything from the title there. And I think the best way if we just zoom out a little bit and get rid of this mixer, you can see here's my score. It's translated it uh, exactly as it was. And I think the best way if we go to page view, continuous viewing might help me out here. And so there you have it. We're a mu score and that exact score is here as it was in logic in that score section. Now, as you can see, it's definitely not perfect. Some of the notation bits, it's kind of dragged over. I don't know what is going on there. I'll have to fix that. And definitely some of these notes as well will need cleaning up and the piano, I, I don't know what's happened there. But another thing you will know, especially if you're going into music or something else right here down in the sounds, it's just got MS Basic. It's not actually recognized. This is a violin, this, that, and the other. So you will have to go through and flute, we'll go to Muse Score and we'll go to Woodwinds and pick Flute 1. And you're going to have to go through all your instruments here to make sure that they're changed to whatever you want it to be um, or whatever you're using. And then you're going to have to go through your notation and quickly check, okay, is this the right articulation? And just make sure if you are printing this out for an orchestra or individual to play that it's all correctly notated um, but I guess this is a lot easier than doing it completely from scratch it's quite a quick process if you know what you're doing there's some little frustrating bits like making sure you select the score section that can catch people out but there you have it you can export from logic into a notation software it's doable would I advise it uh, depends on how you're writing in logic I guess but there you have it I hope that's helped thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video.